Hi everyone, I'm Carly. Thank you so much for watching. So tonight I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime, my pamper Sunday night skincare routine. So I have it as an ongoing event every single Sunday night. It reminds me at like 5 p.m. and it says skincare. That's literally it. And it's just a reminder for me to take that time to do like a face mask, maybe like a pill, just take care, just do some extra skincare stuff that's going to help me get, help get my skin ready for the week and help me feel relaxed and ready to start my Monday. So I wanted to show you guys my Pamper Sunday night skincare routine and I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe and let's get into it. So the first thing that I like to do is just make some tea. So I will show you guys the tea that I just got and it's really a great tea for winding down and just relaxing. It's called the Relax Tea. One sec. Okay, so this is the tea that I like. It's the Puka Relax Tea, and it's the best stuff. And I don't mind my messy counter. I just warmed up some water in here, and I'm going to pour it in to my mug after I put my little tea bag in it. Okay, now that I have my yummy tea, it's just going to steep for the next few minutes. I wanted to show you guys my little skincare setup. So this is my skincare corner, and I'm sure I've showed it to you before, but I just kind of wanted to show you again. So I have all my makeup in these drawers and everything, but this is like my little skin, this is probably my favorite part. I'll just show you all the drawers because it's so much fun. So in this one, I keep all of my, um, what are these? Um, I just forgot what they're called, like the bobble, the bobble elastics. And then in here I keep all my hair clips and breasts and stuff like that. So I have like the cute pearl ones and then do these little like cute colorful ones. So I love those two drawers. And then in these two drawers I have my contacts for my left eye and my right eye because I have a different prescription. And then I just keep all my makeup brushes in there. And then in this drawer is the fun stuff. So I, you guys have seen me post about Masquerade before. I've done a video um, for them a few weeks ago and they just sent me a bunch more stuff which is so so nice and I have already been trying all this stuff out for a week so everything I'm going to tell you guys is like my honest review. Um, I just think this stuff is so great. So here's a couple of the things. Oh well first of all these are kind of like this is kind of like my zit, <laughs> my zit drawer. So these are little patches that you just place on your zits and then you sleep in them and then you take them off in the morning. And then this is the cleanser I've been using and I'm going to wash my face and I'll show you guys how it works in this video. This is just some like benzoil, I think is what it's called. I can't remember, but you just put it, put it in a Q-tip and then you put it on your zit. And then these are just like the little things that I, um, the little lancets that I like pop my zits with. But I don't recommend doing this because I always like go way, way too deep and it just kind of makes my face look red. So they sent me these, so I'm going to be showing you guys all the masquerade stuff that I got and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it in this video. So I'm going to be using the patches, I'm going to wash my face with it. <laughs> they also sent me this which is so cute, I'm excited to put this on and once I do my mask and wash my face I'll be wearing this cute little guy. Okay now here is my face mask drawer. So these are all the masks that they sent me, they sent me so many and I've thankful thank you so so much masquerade i love all of your stuff it's seriously awesome so you guys saw me do the rose um rose all day mask and now i got quite a few more so this one is the nourish and relax this is exfoliate and detoxify this one is let's see this one is firm and soften lines i have the brighten and prime and then I have, they sent me a few of the Rose La La ones, or the Rose All Day, because they knew that I liked them. So thank you. And then I have a couple of the Bubble Bubble Pops. And a couple of the Crystal Clear. So these ones are like stickers that you just put on your face, and they're really super cute. And then I have the Sweet Retreat kind. And I just think this drawer is like the perfect little organizer for all of these masks. So tonight I think I want to do the bubble bubble pop just because it looks really fun and I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to do this one tonight. I just think this is so stinking handy, my little like organizer here. I love it. 
so I would totally recommend this. And then over here is all the other skincare stuff that I use. So I'm also going to use this, and I'll just show you guys this later, but um, Thayer's has a new scent, if it'll focus. And it's coconut water, and I used it for the first time yesterday, and it smells amazing. And as you all know, I've been through like 10 of these bottles. I just think they're the best, and my skin loves them too, so this stuff is awesome. And then this is my favorite daily moisturizer. And then I have sunscreen, my rosehip oil, a couple masks. This is the Drunk Elephant. This is the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Mask. And then I have the chemical pill, the ordinary chemical pill. And did you guys know you can buy this stuff at Sephora now? It's super exciting. My skin food, the skin food stuff that's super yummy. Okay, so now you've seen my little like skincare corner. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put on my robe so I don't get this dress all wet. Um, I just got this robe on Amazon for like $20 and I love it. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna wash my face. I just put my ears on and they're like the best thing. I love them. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wash my face with the Let's Face It stuff. And I've used this a few times but I put it back in the box so you can see what it looks like. So first I'm gonna get my face wet and then I'm gonna take this and just rub it around my face and then rub it in so it gets all of my makeup off. just because I feel like it really helps my skin get super extra clean. So I'm going to do a double cleanse with my... I'm going to do a double cleanse with the hydrating facial cleanser. The CeraVe stuff that, I, that you all know I love so much. I'm just going to re-wash my face. Now that my face is perfectly clean, I'm going to add the masquerade mask. Okay, so the directions just say to rub it with your fingers to kind of activate it and then you just put it on your face, let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes and then you rub in the extras once you take it off and then you rinse it all off. So I'm just going to kind of rub my fingers together and then I'm going to take it out. Okay, it so says to just rub it in and then rinse it off. That mask was funny. I like went into my room where Taylor is and I was like, what do you think? And he told me I look like a stuffed animal. It definitely feels cool. It's like kind of tingly as it gets bubbly. Okay, I'm just going to rinse this off. I guess I should mention what this mask even does. So it's a charcoal bubble sheet mask and it says purifies and deep cleans. Which I think I could totally feel, I mean it was tingly which makes me feel like it's doing something so I really appreciate that. This is a side note but I did my own acrylic or not acrylic fake nails today. I got this pack on Amazon full of all these nails. And I just did it myself and I feel like they turned out pretty good for my first time. I ran out of cotton pads but usually I need to go to the store tomorrow and get some more but usually I would just pour this on a cotton pad and put it on my face. I don't know if this even does anything. I'm just gonna like pour some in my hands. Okay that doesn't really do anything. 
But let me just tell you guys, it smells amazing. You guys totally need to get this. This is definitely my favorite and the cucumber is the worst. So don't get the cucumber, get the coconut or the rose. Those are my two favorites. I'm gonna do my rosehip oil and some gua sha because it's been a little bit since I did it. So this I just picked up at um, Sprouts, but you can get it at Natural Grocers or Whole Foods or anything and I think it's really good for acne scars. Like I really feel like it's helped reduce my acne scars and so if you have similar skin like acne scars and stuff and more I'm definitely dry skin just so everyone knows like I'm I have way more dry skin and so I can do all the oils and stuff on my face and it's totally fine I just rub it in my cheeks and I don't put the oils on my nose because my nose already ha can get like easy my nose already gets blackheads pretty easy so I don't put any oil on it okay and I have a video all on gua sha so if you want to watch that you can go back but I just do this 10 times in each side of my face. I'm gonna do it on my neck because I feel like I have lines and it makes me mad. So I'm gonna do this on my neck. It's like definitely a little red, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take one of the patches, one of the little stickers, and put it on this little spot. I just wiped off the oil with a Q-tip because I forgot to put it on. But these are the patches for Masquerade. And I've been using them for, I got them before we went to Vegas last weekend and I used like a whole sheet in one day because last weekend I was breaking out super bad because I was on my period. Um, But now, I, like I've already gone through one of these and I already went through a little chunk and I've even put one on Taylor and it seriously worked so well. So it comes with a bigger one. I like don't know the best way to show you. It comes with a bigger one and then a smaller one and so you can kind of just decide what size you need. I'm going to just take a smaller one for this and then you just stick it right over and make sure there's nothing under the sticker. So here's the, here's the little guy. It kind of looks like one of my contacts which is so funny. And then you just stick it over your zit. Wow. I'm not going to use my camera. I'm going to use the mirror. You just stick it over the zit and then you fall asleep with it. And it just says like 8 to 12 hours, I think. Let me read it. Yeah, 8 to 12 hours or overnight for best results. Do not apply makeup or any other product on top. So you just stick this on and then you wait 8 to 12 hours and then you take it off. And I promise you, like, it has made my zits look so much smaller so quick and I just really appreciate that because I have no time for zits and especially that I started a new job this week I just wanted to have really clear skin so I've been using these like crazy I'm gonna do some of the skin food um I'm just gonna take some of this again I don't put it on my nose I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks on my chin and on my forehead and I'm not gonna put any over where I put the patch This stuff is so moisturizing. And again, since my skin is totally dry, I really appreciate the moisturizing aspect of this stuff and like the oils. That's why I use my oils on my face is because they're so moisturizing. And if you get in, if I get any on my nose, I usually just wipe it off because I don't want it on my nose. The light in here looks so like weird. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is just dry brush my body and I don't know why I'm still wearing this I don't need to wear it uh, I'm just gonna dry brush my body and then I'm just gonna rinse my body off in the shower and then I'm gonna go to bed So I definitely kind of did this backwards I should have rinsed my body or dry brush rinse my body and then done my face But that's okay. I'm just gonna pull my hair in a ponytail Just rinse my body off because after I dry brush there's just a lot of dead skin and stuff but I love dry brushing because it makes my skin feel really smooth and it just helps like with lymphatic drainage and I like it mostly for this smoothness and it helps my skin not have like any bumps on them, bumps on it so that's what I really like. Um, and then just kind of a side note or a tip I guess, every night for the last two or three weeks Taylor and I have been each saying three positive things so we'll just say like okay we're gonna do our positives right now. And then he'll tell me three positive things from his day and then I'll tell him three positive things from my day. 
and it just helps me feel really positive and uplifted and stuff and just hearing about the good things in his day makes me feel really good so if that's something you guys would be interested in just I would recommend you even if you just write them down if you're not married or if you're not dating anyone just write down your positives and then make a list of things so you can feel more grateful and more positive throughout your week but I'm gonna end this video I hope you guys liked it thank you so so much for watching and as you can see the skin food makes my skin super moisturized but again, I hope you like this video. I hope you all have a great, great week, and I'll see you guys in my next video.